Yes, 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 people. Once again, it is time for Funko News, and I'll give you fair warning, this is going to be a very light edition, not a lot of huge announcements this week, and that is because, of course, the Emerald City Comic Con is going down, and I, I know that's where Funko's focus is right now, so, and, and that's really big, the big, you know, been the big hunting news for this week, that's what people have been after, those ECCC pops, so, uh, yeah, like I said, not a lot of huge announcements here, as a matter of fact, a lot of this will be follow-ups to previous announcements, so just fair warning there, don't expect a whole lot of new big announcements in this particular video, but yeah, enough about that, let's go ahead and get into it. So, for starters here, you know, I like to tell, let you know what's the latest on the Funko Shop, and they have the Hong Kong Fui, uh, Fui Mobile, which uh, is actually still available, and this is actually an Emerald City, semi, excuse me, Emerald City Comic Con figure. But um, I think because of that price and because of who the character is, maybe that's why it hasn't sold out yet. So yeah, forty dollars plus shipping. You got to be a really diehard Hong Kong Fui fan, I guess, to be interested in that. And I don't know if there are a lot of diehard fans out there willing to pay that much for that ride. And then they also had the Spastic Plastic 3-pack with Carlos, Dino, and Guapo. That is still available as well, $25 plus shipping. Again, I don't know if people feel like it is really worth that price point. Although, to me, you figure about $10 per, per doors, you know, with the shipping considered. Um, not bad for exclusive doors, in my opinion. I guess it just depends on whether or not this will hold value over time. And I don't think anybody can really speak to that right now. Who knows? You know, so uh, yeah, these are still available at the time of this recording. And I want to keep a focus here on the Funko Shop for a moment. So what you're looking at right now, of course, this is everything that was available for the Emerald City Comic Con. And I want to break this down for you exactly, you know, what is where and what is available and how you can get your hands on and things like that. And, you know, if you can still get your hands on any of these. So... Like I said, focusing on the Funko Shop because they did decide to make some of these exclusives available. Now, I already mentioned the Hong Kong Fui Fui Mobile and the Spastic Plastic 3-Pack, so, you know, we already addressed those. As far as Superhero Kermit and El Diablo are concerned, they've already come and gone. Um, the Superhero Kermit sold out immediately. I mean, like, in no time. It was gone. And uh, the El Diablo... It actually went on sale this morning, um, as you know, March 4th. Today it went on sale, and uh, it took a couple of minutes for it to go. Uh, maybe, I don't know if it was an hour. Feels like it was probably less than an hour, but it took a, a couple minutes to go, and um, that's probably just because people didn't expect it, you know, early on a Saturday morning. So I think it kind of caught people off guard. But of course, once the word spread, you know, then he was gone. And uh, from the box art, I still think that they are eventually going to make him available in the blue suit which I think he might even look better in the blue suit. So, you know, I've, I said before, I might try to get my hands on that one. We will see. Now, over the next couple of days, this is coming directly from Funko. Keep your eyes on the Funko shop because there are going to be more Emerald City Comic Con exclusives made available on the Funko shop. But I'm telling you, they go very quickly, very quickly. Now, I don't know which figures are coming on which days, you know, so just you have to check each day to see exactly what figure it is. But the ones that are still going to be made available, they include the um, Funko Freddy Dwarves, you know, rocking the Seattle Sonics uh, outfit there. That one will be made available at some point. T-Bone, I actually wouldn't be surprised if T-Bone pops up tomorrow. That's purely speculation though. But, um, you know, T-Bone is also a, spl a spastic plastic character. That's why I say I wouldn't be surprised if he's up next, but we will see. And then Blue Falcon and Dino Mutt um, will be showing up as well. I don't know if they're going to sell those individually or together. I mean, they are kind of a team, but, uh, you know, I, I really don't know what's going to happen there. So we all just got to keep our eyes open and see exactly what happens. So, yeah, just check at the Funko Shop daily. Hopefully you are signed up for their emails. And if you're not, you really should be. You need to take care of that. If you're interested in getting things from the Funko Shop, you really want to be alerted with those emails that's how I found out that El Diablo went up um, this morning and this time they actually sent the email out before the figure was actually on the site which is nice because I know there's been times when 
I got the email and I go to the shop and it's like it's already gone and I'm like I know it wasn't that fast you know that it sold out but uh yeah you just got to be on your toes when it comes to the Funko shop and also one more figure here I got to address is the Emerald City Crusader the glow in the dark one which you see there towards the bottom left that one I think is the only figure that was strictly for people that went to the convention I don't know if that's been made available like any other way at least not that I know of Funko doesn't have it listed as one that's going to show up on the Funko shop as of right now so yeah like I said as far as I know that's the only figure that was completely strictly for the convention um there is one figure I'm real I'm realizing there's something that's missing from the screen but I'm going to address it anyway so we'll, we will get to it so let, yeah, let's not worry about that right now and as far as these others that are on the screen are concerned I'm about to address these as well so what you're looking at right now this is the breakdown of what exclusives were um, shared exclusives that means that were made available in stores um, let me just go ahead and run through it real quick okay Barnes & Noble they had Peppermint Patty and the Great Kazoo I'm saying had but they may have I don't know what's going on there it seems like those figures kind of got held up I've only seen one person on social media that actually managed to pick up a Peppermint Patty and I haven't seen any others I haven't even seen anybody with the Great Kazoo so I feel like those figures may have gotten kind of held up at Barnes & Noble so I would still check with your Barnes & Noble maybe make a call or just go in and look around real quick because there, maybe there's a chance that they're still going to make their way there. GameStop has the Emerald Farah from Overwatch or at least they're supposed to have it again that's one that I have not seen anywhere on social media and by the way I know some of you um you may have seen things that I haven't just share it in the comments you know but uh I'm, I'm just going off my own experience I have not seen that Emerald Farah at all yet so uh maybe it's on its way still we will see. Hot Topic had World War II Captain America, which was really the hot ticket item. That's like the, the main figure that people were after. If you can find a Captain America still in the wild at Hot Topic, I mean, consider that a blessing. Because as far as I know, those really flew off the shelves and are pretty much gone. So again, if you find one, yeah, just, just consider yourself blessed there. The Eleven and Barb 2-pack from Stranger Things doesn't seem to be nearly as popular, so I think you can probably find that one if you're really interested and if your hot topic has sold out i would check with another hot topic or you know check with somebody in the collecting community i think you can track that one down because it doesn't seem like there was a huge interest in it and from watching some other people's videos i see that some hot topics kind of got flooded with that two-pack so again i'm pretty confident if you want that you should be able to track it down now fye the creeper and muff tech those figures seem to have gotten held up a little bit as well and there was kind of some confusion with them they did go on the website and immediately sold out i mean by the time that you know the email came out and i went right to the site they were gone you know so anybody that locked them down online you must have really been on your toes as far as in the store i don't know what's going on there i called mine they said they hadn't received the delivery yet so Again, I, I really don't know what's going on there, but even if stores got them, it was very limited numbers. That was known from the jump. It would be very small numbers. So, yeah, I mean, if you find that, you know, again, you're blessed. Target had the Rick and Morty, the buff um, Rick and Summer 2-pack. I heard that each store was only going to get three of those. And um, some stores, I don't know if they've actually received them yet. So I really can't say whether or not you can still find that one. Again, you'd have to check with your local Target. Toys R Us, this is the one I didn't have pictured before. I'm not sure how that slipped by, but uh, they're supposed to get the Green Arrow and Black Canary Dorbs 2-pack. This is one I'm interested in. It's another one, though, that I haven't seen anybody pick up yet, so I don't know if Toys R Us has actually received it. But since my Toys R Us has stepped their game up, and I did a video about that, um, might have been just yesterday, uh, that you, you can check that out if you haven't done so. But yeah, my Toys R Us has stepped their game up, so I might actually try to see if I can track down that dwarfs two pack and then walmart got michigan j frog or supposed to have michigan j frog and i actually have seen several of these online so some people did get their hands on it so again check your walmart even if your walmart has not really been so great with funko i'm telling you the walmarts in my area they now have dedicated funko sections so you know check yours regardless even if you feel like it's a waste of time still check it just to be sure especially if you're interested in that particular figure 
on. We we are moving on now from ECC. See, I think we talked about that more than enough. Here is a leaked image that I find pretty interesting because normally things don't get leaked way ahead that are going to be on the Funko Shop. But so that's why I'm really surprised that this image somehow got out that there is going to be a Ranger Smith uh, from Yogi Bear Funko Shop exclusive, only 5,000 pieces. Now, if you do the math. They, they would have enough days if they're going to do the net the rest of the ECC, um, you know, shared exclusive. Uh, if they're going to share those on the Funko shop. They would have enough days to do to do those one by one to release them one by one. And then by Wednesday, they could have Ranger Smith up there. Now, again, that's speculation. I don't know that for sure. But who knows? I mean, Wednesday is the normal day that they release things on the Funko shop. So maybe this Ranger Smith is up next. We will see. You know, and if you're interested, like I said, be on your toes and definitely make sure that you are signed up for those emails from the Funko Shop. Now, moving ahead here, I want to get into some things that people are finding in stores. And I decided to go with images here that people have shared on social media because I want you to see it's not speculation. People actually have these in hand. And as a matter of fact, a lot of people are basically flipping them you know i mean we know how that goes but running through these quickly you see that the iron fist and luke cage px previews exclusives those are showing up unmasked Gwenpool, which is a walgreens exclusive um star lord the toys r us exclusive which of course you know he has the mask on that's the the difference there and then he's only holding um one of his his guns in his hand as well and uh, somebody pointed out something a while back about the chase figure, which I think is kind of funny. I mean, basically, the chase figure is the head of the common, I think, and then the the body of this particular figure, the Toys R Us exclusive. I mean, the, the chase is basically kind of a lazy figure. I mean, that's the gist of it. I can't remember exactly how it is. Or it might be the masked uh, Star-Lord with the two pistols. That's the chase. That Maybe that's what it is. But, I mean, regardless, it's kind of a lazy <laughs> chase figure, regardless of how you look at it. Okay, and then... uh. One figure I'm, I'm kind of sort of interested in, Weapon X uh, at the Target. You know, that's a Target exclusive. But Targets have been so unkind to me. I mean, just not having a great selection. I really don't know if I feel like stepping foot in another Target right now. So that might just have to be a pass for me. Even if I did go looking around at Target, it'd be a miracle if I found it in the store. Poison Ivy, the Hot Topic exclusive, is showing up. And that's, of course, based off of um, basically her current um, comic book and, you know, uh, version of her um with this one i'll just say if you're going to pick it up look closely at the paint jobs because some people have been saying the paint jobs are kind of rough so yeah just look closely some people say they look good some people say you know that it's rough so yeah just look closely and um don't just snatch one up and really that's the kind of general rule with funko you know anyway um and then the batman do um dorbs ride which is based off the tim burton batman this one has been actually showing up at Walmart for a little while now. I haven't seen it yet, though. And that's one I'm kind of interested in. You know, we'll see. But um, I just haven't seen it yet. And I have been to quite a few Walmarts. So maybe it just hasn't made its way to my area yet. Here are some more figures that are showing up that people are getting their hands on. Now, I only have part of the Kingdom Hearts set here. But as far as I know, the whole, the whole set is out there, except for maybe... The Walmart exclusive Pete. I think that's the only one I haven't seen anywhere online. But the Donald, the Hot Topic exclusive is showing up. Uh, the Goofy, the GameStop exclusive is showing up. Do remember that there are common versions of Donald and Goofy as well. I don't have Mickey pictured here, but Mick, Mickey is out there. Um, Chip and Dale, you know, the two pack is out there. Um, something that surprised me, somebody already got their hands on Moxie, the Borderlands, that Chase figure. I haven't even seen the common Moxie with, you know, anybody with that yet, but somebody got their hands on this chase and I, you know, pure speculation here. I wouldn't be surprised if that's somebody that works at a particular store because uh, I, I really don't even want to get into saying too much about how I feel about situations like that. As a matter of fact, what I will do is I'm going to link a video down in the description is from um, Totally the Towel Man. And while you're there, uh, do make sure that you subscribe because he's got a pretty good channel. Um, he's a really nice person, you know, one of the nicest people I've had the pleasure of meeting and, you know, becoming cool with on YouTube. So definitely check out Toy the Towel Man and what happened with him recently. I don't want to say it. I just want you to watch this video and he'll share, it, you know, his experience with you all. And I think it's just so foul, you know, and uh, 
Yeah, and it, I mean, obviously, it's relating to store employees and some of the things that happen with figures. But I'll leave it up to Tolly to share that with you all. And um, yeah, check that video out. Subscribe to Tolly and also let him know that I sent you on over there. Let him know, of course, you know, as always, I'm supporting him. And uh, also, Alpha 5, I think I mentioned this before, but I just wanted to point it out again that Alpha 5, the Walmart exclusive, is out there. And some Walmarts actually have plenty of them. So again, if your Walmart doesn't have it, check with somebody you know that's in the community. And, um, you know, maybe you'll be able to track that down, work something out with somebody to get your hands on it. Moving ahead here, this is an update because I've shared this uh, previously, at least the Iceman pop figure, which is a specialty series figure, which means that you're not going to find it in a chain store. You know, you got to check a comic book shop or certain websites. But uh, this one, we finally get an idea of when it's coming out, and it looks like it's going to be June. And also, we know now the dwarves, that's going to come out at the same time. It's going to be the Iron Fist dwarves. I'm pretty psyched about both of these. As a matter of fact, Iceman... Uh, I think I pretty much already got that one on lock for myself and maybe for some friends as well. So, because uh, I've already been, you know, doing some talking around and things trying to work that out. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one. Yeah, I think June is going to be a pretty cool month. <laughs> um, hey, well, pun intended, I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's keep it moving here. So, Wonder Woman, I, I've shared some of the figures previously. This is another one, though, that I think I, I missed, or it may have just been revealed. We see there, uh, this is her basically in her Amazonian outfit, you know, her island outfit, whatever you want to call it, which is going to be a Hot Topic exclusive. Now, there is another one with her in this outfit, but the difference is, here she has her hand on her hip and she's holding that shield, you know, so just a slightly different pose and I, I do like the look of the shield there with it looks like the really you know good detail on the shield and I definitely like the um the boots that she's wearing the straps and everything and you know her hair hair as well pretty good scope so all around pretty good looking figure me personally I mean the main Wonder Woman figure I want to get is her in the blue dress and the sword in hand that's the one I really want and then after that I'll see about the others and if you are subscribed to the Legion of Collectors or if you're just in the know with Funko, then you already know that the next box is going to focus on Wonder Woman. I'll, I'll just say this. When it comes to individual characters, I think Funko needs to stop just putting all of the focus on just that one character. They just did that with the Superman box. And I did a video a little while back speculating about the Superman box. And I threw out a lot of ideas there, especially about villains that... I thought they maybe should have included, but nope, they went completely Superman with the box. And um, I, I actually have received my box. I'm not going to do an unboxing, though. I mean, if people want to see an unboxing, there are plenty of those, uh, you know, on YouTube. So I'm not going to actually do an unboxing. I'll just let you know, I do wish that they had been more creative. I, I mean, at the same time, I kind of like the pop figure. I think the design is all right. Um, you know, the t-shirt is okay to, for me to wear around the house. I wouldn't wear, wear it, like, outside or anything. Um, and then the other items are just so-so, you know. So, all together, they definitely could have done something more interesting with that box. I really feel like they should have included a villain. And with the Wonder Woman box, like I said, I, I hope that they are more interesting. They do something more interesting with it than the collect... Like, for example, with the Collector Core, you look at the Spider-Man box, all Spider-Man. You look at the Doctor Strange box all Doctor Strange. You look at the Deadpool box. It was all Deadpool. I think they got to mix it up with the characters. You know, have some characters that are associated with the hero, not just the hero by himself or herself. So we'll see what happens with the Wonder Woman box. You know, for everybody that's getting it, you know, fingers crossed. Hopefully the Legion of Collectors will show some creativity. Next up here is, uh, you know, some dwarves. They have common figures here. They have Donnie and then um, the bunny suit. I, the guy in the bunny suit, I keep forgetting what they call him. But um, And I, maybe I put it out of my mind intentionally because this is just my personal opinion here. Real quick, Donnie Darko, I know this movie has a cult following. If it's based off the imagery, I can understand that. But if it's truly based off the plot in the movie itself, then I don't get that because to me, it's not a great movie. I, I just... it. It bugs me <laughs> that this movie gets, uh, you know, so much praise when I'm like, no, like it just is weak storytelling to me. It has a twist in it that doesn't really make sense. I mean, people put all these like metaphysical, like, 
you know, reason behind it and this and that or whatever. But no, it's to me, it's just weak storytelling. I really am not a fan of that movie. But, you know, getting back to the figures themselves here, you see that they do have chase versions. Uh, the only difference with um, Donnie, of course, is that you see he had his he has his hood up. The figure itself now, just the figure itself, I think does look cool. If and then if I was a fan of the movie, I would be absolutely, you know, happy to have that chase and to actually keep it, you know, but with, with, with my feelings on the movie, if I found that chase, I would probably trade it in a heartbeat, you know, and then um, with the, again, the bunny suit guy, I keep forgetting what they call him, you know, some, I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments possibly, and uh, they do have a, a chase version as well, which kind of reveals a story detail from the movie, so it's kind of interesting they did that, but then again, it is a movie that's been around a long time, so I guess they're not so worried about a spoiler as far as that goes, and again, within the storyline in the movie anyway, regardless, it doesn't make much sense. So it's it's whatever, <laughs> you know. Let's go ahead and move ahead here. So last year, uh, for the New York Comic Con, they had this Gartham, or I, I think that's how you say it, this Gartham figure, but he was part of a three-pack, which you see there on the left. So be, let's be clear here. What you're looking at there on the left-hand side that was a New York Comic Con exclusive. So that was the only way at the time that you could get that Gartham action figure. And do keep in mind, these are action figures we're talking about here. But now you see on the right hand side that Gartham, they are making him by himself as a Toys R Us exclusive. And yeah, I think that's a really well designed figure because I mean, it's just a well designed character. Looks really incredible in the movie, which I really got to see that whole movie someday. I've only seen like tidbits of it, but I saw Gartham in motion. I watched a clip of it and I was like, wow, that's just incredible puppet work and uh, costume work that they did. So yeah, I really got to see that full movie at some point. Yes, 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 Disney fans. I know you're freaking out if you have not seen this yet. Ursula and Cruella DeVille, these new um, molds of them, really well designed. This is pretty awesome, and they're going to be in a two-pack in a Hot Topic exclusive, which means if you want it, you should be able to get your hands on it. You know, usually um, Hot Topic does good numbers with their exclusives, so yeah, Disney fans, look forward to this. Um, I want to say that this is coming up pretty soon, I think by next month. I can't remember the exact date, but uh, yeah, be on the lookout for this coming up very soon. And um, Hot Topic is pretty good about giving heads up. As a matter of fact, if you follow Hot Topic on Periscope, they tend to do unboxings, so you can check those out. And they, they do pretty well at keeping you updated. So, yeah, be on the lookout for these coming soon. One thing that does kind of make me a bit curious is why they decided to put on the box Ursula with Cruella DeVille instead of Ursula in Cruella DeVille. I don't know. It makes it almost sound like the you know that one character is just tagging along with the other. But I thought it, I mean that's just a little quibble there. I feel like they should have said and, but it's not a big deal. Regardless, you get two great pop figures in one box. And I gotta say, as far as designs go, I mean I really do like Ursula, and I feel like Ursula might be the more popular character. But Cruella Deville, they did an amazing job there with the um, the head sculpt, especially the sunken in cheeks and everything, like. And then, you know, the way the mouth is sculpted and everything, I think it just looks phenomenal. So, yeah, Disney fans, be on the lookout for this, and I know you're going to be very happy with it. Oh, by the way, even though I'm saying that, we'll see how they do with the paint jobs. You know, if the paint jobs are on point, then Disney fans, yes, you'll be very happy with it. Next up here, next up here from GameStop, they have another mystery box on the way. And again, it's another video game focused one, which of course makes sense because it is GameStop. So this one is going to be a fighting game focused box with Street Fighter and Tekken in the mix. Now, no hints at all yet about what could be inside of the box. So I want to hear from you all. You know, what do you think they should put inside of this box? Me personally, I think because uh, Street Fighter... Um, you know, Street Fighter hasn't been really well known for like mystery figure, like mystery characters or anything, but I think it would make sense to use Akuma as a pop figure in there. Now, I'm not saying it should be the only way that you could get Akuma as a pop figure, but Mary, you know, maybe just a GameStop exclusive variant of Akuma would be pretty cool. And, um, you know, as far as Tekken is concerned, I really don't know. If they had already revealed a Eddie Gordo pop figure, then I would say maybe they could put Tiger in this box, which Tiger is basically Eddie Gordo in a disco outfit, you know, with a big afro. So, but they haven't revealed an Eddie Gordo pop figure yet, so I kind of doubt that they would do that. So for Tekken, I really don't know. Maybe it would be a variation of one of the characters 
they've already revealed or maybe it's going to be somebody completely new. Who knows? I just want to hear your ideas. What do you think about this? And this also reminded me that the Ryu and Ken Toys R Us exclusive Street Fighter Pops, I don't think those ever came out yet. Um, if anybody has seen those, let me know. I know that the Blanca figures came out, the color variations of him, which were a Think Geek exclusive in... I'm drawing a blank on where the other one went. I think it was Walmart. Yeah, Walmart exclusive. So those came out, but I don't think Ryu and Ken have made it out yet. Somebody let me know if you've seen those, because I'm just curious about that. Here, okay, I'm saying spoiler alert, but not really, because I, I want to talk just quickly about the Disney Treasures box, and you cannot order the Disney Treasures box without seeing the major items that are going to be inside of it. So, you know, some people are trying to avoid spoilers, but I'm like, you if you're going to order it, you're going to see it, because <laughs> you can't order it unless you have somebody else do the order for you, and you just keep, you know, you stay tuned out of YouTube and stay off of social media. I mean, it's almost unavoidable to see what's going to be in the first Disney Treasures box. But if for some reason you've been able or, you know, some way you've managed to avoid any spoilers and you don't want to know what's in the box, then this would be the time to tune out. You know, I'm giving fair warning there. But like I said, you cannot order this box yourself without seeing what's going to be inside of it. And let me go ahead and show you all what's going to be in it. And I know a lot of you have already seen this because you've already done your order. And I mean... To me, it is a great deal. You know, you get a Smee Pop figure, you know, which of course is exclusive, and then also the exclusive Wicked Winch Dwarves ride, which has some nice detailing, it, especially on the back of it. I know um, Funko, the original Funko, one of their videos, they showed not really so much a 360, but they showed it from different angles, and I was like, wow, the detailing on the back of that Dwarves ride looks pretty, pretty amazing. And I think the Dwarves itself looks cool, so... I definitely think there's value in this first box, how great the character selection is. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Disney Treasures, as they move forward, they got to give people the characters that they really want. You know, that's that's what it comes down to. So uh, we'll see how they do as they move forward. But yeah, if you're interested in the Disney Treasures box, I hope that you've already placed your order. If not, you might want to go ahead and get on that. And um, as far as when this first box actually delivers, I'm not sure. I mean, they say March theme. But of course, this is when you're ordering it. So I don't know exactly when the box will arrive. I mean, it's a new box, so we'll see what happens there. I'm very interested to see people's reactions, though, as they unbox it. Even though people know about the figures, I still kind of wonder, what else are they going to do in the box? Is it going to be a t-shirt, you know, patch and pin? You all let me know, too. What do you think they're going to do? Is it going to be pretty much like the other boxes, or do you think they will do more to set it apart? So yeah, just, just share your opinions about that, because I'm very interested to see how this box goes. Next up here, I'm I'm putting a quick word out because um, I've been trying to find these Star Wars Rebels figures to help out a good YouTube friend of mine, and I'm having no luck, and I really hate that because normally I'm able to track down Star Wars figures, especially Walgreens exclusives, that's pretty easy. But I have not seen these at Walmart yet. So if there's anybody out there that has this set for trade or you, you know that you can find it for trade, please private message me. Don't don't share it in the comments. You know, pri private message me either here on YouTube or you can go to my Instagram, which is always down in my description. And, uh, you know, we could try to work something out there within reason. Now, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm saying trade because I prefer not to try to pay, you know, any jacked up prices or anything like that you know i do want to help my friend out but i'm not going to be taken advantage of so that's why i say if you have anything within reason in mind you know then we could talk that out and you know i really do want to help him out with this so yeah if you if you know that you can get this set or you have it for trade like i said just private message me and we'll talk that out so <laughs> that brings us to the end people this was still kind of a long video but that's really just because I elaborated on some things. I kind of told you all that there weren't going to be like a lot of big new announcements this week. But, you know, as always, I definitely appreciate you all taking the time to check this out. You see here on the screen some things that I have in mind that I want to try to get for myself very soon. Um, some things I'm really not seeing, like the Demogorgon. I have not seen that around the way. Still haven't seen John Wick with a good paint job. The, um, the Dwarves Ride, the Frankenberry Dwarves Ride is available on the Funko Shop. I just got to be careful with my cash right now because I just pay so much money in shipping to send things out to um, friends. So, yeah, that kind of put me light for a little bit here. So I got to be careful. 
Um, Blade has not released yet, as far as I know. Definitely waiting on Blade. And then Daredevil and Punisher, I've seen them. I just haven't picked them up yet, but I definitely want to grab them. And if I could find any Chase figures, I'd be head, I'd be in heaven. I'd be really happy about that. But yeah, I want to hear from you all. What are the things at the top of your list? And is there anything in this video that you saw that you're interested in getting? You know, share it all down in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. You know, I, I like to see the thumbs up that lets me know I'm doing something right here. And, um, you know, share it as well. That, that'd be cool also. So, yeah, look forward to your comments. As always, I will reply back. And you all take care. Till next time.